you are welcome back to today's tutorial all right so um, i want to teach you guys uh, all the color blendings we have all these blend modes all right which is color that can multiply uh, color bone linear bone lightning screen color dodge linear dodge hard glow soft glow overlay soft light at light ew saturation color and luminosity well with any other applications that can as well get in pictures we have different perspective and uh, about most of these blend modes but i want to tell you what they really stand for and what they have for Autodesk sketchbook application you can see all other applications that can perform these same tasks and yet have more blend modes is that okay so very soon i think i'm going to make a tutorial on the kinds of application that you can use for your cartoon pictures all right you can use it for small shades caricature and any other kind of artwork you wish to do all right so let's dive into this video um firstly let me choose a tool to use all right i think i'll be going with my ink pad all right so um okay let's go to our color okay sorry all right so let's go to our color copy i think i'll be needing my colors from this black area here uh, which of the two okay i think i will have to be mixing the colors together all right so uh firstly now on top just normally i would love to change uh the background color all right i would love to change it to something like yellow all right not perfect yellow actually all right so the first thing i'll be doing now i want to start okay so I'll, it is in black now luminosity I mean, luminous of that black is zero all right so it's in black let me choose another two that will be a little bit bigger or larger than this all right this will be better good all right so here is my black color all right so now let me create a new layer i just want to put different colors is that okay then i'm going to tell you what all the blend modes is all about all right guys so i've tried to draw out something for you all right so this is what we'll be using uh, is that okay all right so to explain what these blend modes are now i will have to create a new layer all right so um, okay now going with the first color blending which we have normal you know normal any color you put for example uh, let me choose uh, maybe my lipstick red all right so i put it on it it we have no other effect than the color itself all right so that is the meaning of normal can you see that so there's nothing you can do you can only reduce the opacity and get to reduce but yes this is your case only if you reduce it reduce it to zero percent all right so that's just all about uh, normal normal is that okay good so now let me clear this moving to the next one which we have darken now for example let me put my layer back on normal and put my color on white is that okay i have a white color now okay or better still uh, maybe i can just fill in my color okay all right i think it's better like this so i have uh my colors here now remember this is on uh normal so i would love to okay i would love to duplicate this and have a copy so that i will not have to be painting my colors over and over again so let's put it on dark in and let's see now check the difference is there actually any difference no there will be no difference but now if i should try and put it back on my normal all right and i choose colors like uh maybe yellow all right so this is my yellow here all right so let me put it on dark in now you can see these colors here it's blending can you see now dark in can only have effect on where there is lighter part where there is lighter areas for example what am i saying if i create a new layer now all right and i put yellow color in this place you, know, you remember this is just normal all right now if you put it on dark in it will have no effect whatsoever on heat it will not show, it will not show. but if you put that same color on a lighter part on a lighter part 
part of your picture, it will show and to change even the saturation or the hue of your picture. All right, we have uh, color white there, but we put it on um, yellow. All right, it's giving us green, that green yellow. Do you understand now? So that's the work of um, uh, darken. Now, if I continue to put this color downwards, you continue to see it changing till it's reached to the darker colors where it has no effect. Do you understand that? So that's all about darken. Darken cannot affect dark areas. It can only affect lighter areas. That is why it is named after darken. Do you understand that? All right. So let me delete this. Good. So let me be keeping the layers so that we'll be able to compare them later. All right. So um, the next one we have here is multiply. Okay. So let's come back to normal. And then on this multiply, what it do is that it duplicates your picture into one and yes, to blend it. What am I saying? For example, now this particular color, we can duplicate and put it on multiply. Good. Do you see? It makes the darker areas more darker and the light. But one thing about multiply that you need to understand, anywhere light is meeting light, it will have no effect. In as much as the light color is 100%. For example, now notice this what color? Do you see that? It has no effect whatsoever. Now, when we are talking about darking, we say darking does not have effect on the darker areas. It only have effect on the lighter areas. And now, on multiply, it only have effect on the darker part and on the lighter areas, it leave it behind. Do you understand the differences between darking and multiply now? Because some people, if they are working on their, uh, if they are working on an artwork, they just assume that oh, the work that. Uh, multiply is doing is still the same work Darken is doing so you are making a very very costly mistake right now so you need to understand and let your artwork be transformed that the works of Darken is thoroughly different from the works of uh, multiply multiply has effect on the darker part while it leaves the lighter part alone I mean the lightest part like 100% is, is that okay it leaves it alone nevertheless if you create a new layer all right and uh, you put something like maybe your black color all right in the light part good and you put it on multiply now did you see it has no effect can you see what i'm saying it has no effect whatsoever it has no effect can you see that but if i should put it on that cane now you will see it will totally be here likewise do you see that this is that it also there so that is the similarities between the two. They both don't really work with lighter area. But when you are choosing a complementary color, colors that are not even pertain to what is on the background, then that can will surely show effect. For example, let me change this color uh, to maybe like, uh, okay, let's choose blue. All right. So now let me put this on dark. All right. It's on darken already. Do you see it has no effect on uh my lighter areas can you see that but now on this darker part is it showing okay let me unlock uh the layer sorry okay it's not even locked okay good now so i'm putting my blue color here but it's not showing but yet on that lightest area it is showing can you see that all right so if i should put so much line now look at what happens now it can have effect because the color of what I put on the layer is not on the background itself. What am I saying? Now, if this is on uh, normal and I put my color on black, all right, this is black color now, and I put it on multiply, it has no effect both on the dark area and the light area. Reason because it is a color found on the layers below on the layer that you are asking it to depend on on the layers that you are asking it to multiply on it is having the same color you put on it now if i put another color let me clear this away like the blue i use the other time all right if i put this blue color now this is multiply but you see it can show now because of what it is not on the background nevertheless it will not have effect on the darkest area of the picture i mean where it is darkest it will have no 
effect all right so i think with that i've been able to cover with you guys the difference between the uh um the dark and the multiply effect is that okay all right so just let me do up and uh <clears throat> hide it as well i think this is something okay let's make use of it now on uh, the next one i think we're having color bond hmm. many people make mistake within between this color bond and linear dodge color bond and linear and linear bond even with linear dodge now this color bond for example if you're having a picture that has some bones in the face when we mean bone like the some areas are so dark and it seems black when the skin of the person is not actually like that and some areas are, 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 are they are bright and extremely bright now for example let me put this blue color all the same now this is color bone let me put it on linear bone now can you see okay maybe i should just duplicate all right and put uh the one on top sorry uh on color bone all right now let me hide it now this is my linear bone i mean color bone can you see it please check okay just let me roll it to the downwards part so that you know it has no effect on the darker areas also i mean the darkest place you see this place is now it seems as if it is just one color that we have in all of these places but it's a lie so it acts as effects on the lighter areas also for linear bone it also have effect on um on the lighter areas also is that okay sorry i'm working with my linear all right so it also has effect on the lighter area so as the uh, as what you are asking it to burn is becoming lighter so it also becomes more effective but as dark uh, as it's more uh, it's becoming more darker what you are asking it to do what you're asking it to bomb also becomes more darker what am i saying if you have a picture now and you duplicate it and you put it on linear bone the areas that are dark will be more darker and the areas that are light will be more lighter do you understand the areas that are dark will be more darker and the areas that are light will be more lighter so also for color bone but that color bone has to do with colors no matter the numbers of colors you have if you put it on color bone it will display each of that color nevertheless remember i said it does not have effect on the darkest color in your picture it will make it more darker all right just like uh multiply it will make it more darker do you understand that so all right i think we're done with that also let me create a new layer now uh that's what you have next year we have lightning and uh, okay just let's treat this lightning first let me put my color on black all right so this is lightning remember okay let me put it on normal first now this is my color color black on heat now putting it on lightning many people just assume things that are not the, uh, that that are not correct at all for example i put it on lightning okay let's see you can tell me if you see any differences there's no difference all right there's no difference but it is lightning why then doesn't it light up now some people mistook um lightning for screen or soft glow or glow so lightning is very different now let me put it on white color all right let me turn my color to white so we can uh, understand perfectly what i'm saying now i'll put it on lightning can you see now now i put it on white color and it has no effect whatsoever can you see now you know other colors we are talking about they have effects when we put put them on white but once this one gets on white lightning reason because it's already showing white now the purpose of this in your picture if you put any picture on lightning and it is having the lighter areas it's only telling you that okay help me clean the darkest part of this picture and leave the lighter areas alone for example for with, with the kind of example i used when i was talking about color bond the other time now color bond will make the darkest area to be more darker and the lighter areas to be more lighter but for this lightning it will compress your darker areas and uh, enhance your lighter areas but it may the results may not actually be very palatable to you now let me change the color i mean um 
the color I put inside of it. Let's use another color. Uh, all right, let's use this FV2. All right, now let me put it on um, lightning. Can you see this now? It has effect on both the darker areas and the lighter areas. But the problem with it is as lighter as your picture becomes, it begins to fade. Now, check upwards there. You see, when it gets to white, it's as if it fade, but actually it didn't. If you work on the picture, you will know it didn't fill. Now, once it's reached to this area, once it, it, it reached to uh, about uh, some... This is 100% black. We have 50, 25, 25. All right. Once it's reached to around 25% black, you see it begins to change effect as if it has no work it's doing. So that's what I'm telling you. If your picture is lighter, it can make it more obvious or help you to compress it. It depends on the kind of picture you're working on. All right. But your light picture, I mean your light color, which is your white and your black, it may have no effect. It all depends on the kind of picture you're editing. All right. So let's let's leave that. We have what next? Uh, we have screen. Okay, let's test screen on this background. Okay, for this now, let me change it to normal. All right, we use it for example on multiply the other time. So this is um, normal now. Now to to study this our screen, you need to understand something that there is difference between screen, soft light, and glow. So I'll be expecting all of that. Uh, explain all of that now. Soft light, glow, and screen. Good now. So here is our screen. Uh, remember this is this is um normal and once you put it on screen effect it all becomes lighter but the only thing in your picture that will not be affected is when you have complete black color i mean 100% black color in as much as the color is not 100% black it will surely have effects all right let's see what i'm saying okay it doesn't want me to create a new layer all right just let me delete this now this is what i'm saying okay now um let me put this color okay just let's try this blue also now i'll put it on screen now check this you see it's still not having effect on this dark part is still showing that something is dark here the only thing it did is just like reducing opacity now let me see what let me tell you uh, explain better what i'm saying i create a new layer now all right now it's on normal remember and then i put this color here and then i reduce the opacity all right can you see what it's doing for me now the difference between it is because it is in lightning it helps you to lighten up the black color but yet it can never be compared to any other look at this area and look at this do you get that now let me put it on white color let me delete this and let me put this on white color all right uh, you don't use uh black to to display your light uh, screen actually you can use it but yet it may have no no effect if it is an hundred percent um dark all right if it is hundred percent dark it may have no effect actually now um let me put it on screen do you see because that's what i'm telling you the other time once it discovers any color that is in the background all right Anything that has to do with 100% opacity, whether 100% white or 100% black, it will have no effect whatsoever. Depends on the picture you are working on. If that kind of picture is color bond, if it is bond, then it will have effect. All right. But if it's just a neutral color that is on normal, it has no effect whatsoever. Now, let's change the, uh, the color to see what I'm saying. Let's change it to something like yellow. No, where's zero? Oh, sorry. Uh, change to yellow. All right. Why here thing? Okay. Now, I'll put it on screen. 
still check this darker areas here you see it's still displaying for you that something is here but when once it's reached to this 75 8, uh, 50 25 areas you see it's as if all the colors were the same that is how deceptive screen can be but yet if you look closely you will see the differences all right so once it's reached to the lighter areas it become more lighter and the darker areas it become more darkened do you understand all depends on the kind of colors you're using all right so um, there are these samples so we can have space for more all right so let me create a new layer now to explain my soft light my soft glow and then my glow i have explained screen all right so now soft light for example this soft light check it you see I think it's very explanatory on its own. The darker it becomes, the darker it uh, it looks, and the lighter it becomes, the like lighter it looks. Now, for that's just that about um, soft light. If you duplicate your picture and you put it on soft light, the lighter area will become more lighter, and the darker areas become more darker. Understood? That's very uh, explanatory. And then over oh sorry um, glow, it becomes white. Once you have hundred percent white and you put it on hundred percent. Um, opacities it becomes the kind of color it is it's just like you're saying plus times plus it becomes plus and minus times plus it becomes minus do you understand so now these are two positive uh colors it will surely give you positive color but if you have negative plus plus color uh multiplied by plus color it will give you another um result entirely it will give you minus for example now let me change this color from white uh, so let me clear this and uh which color should we use this time okay maybe we should just use a random rose color rose pink all right so now let me put this on soft glow i think we are working on that right all right so it becomes 100 percent back again so once you have two positive things uh, I tell you it's gonna blast your pictures it's it has nothing to do but nevertheless it showcases on dark colors depending on the kind of color you use if you use white color full white color 100% it has no effect whatsoever only if the it's a picture that has some kind of saturation all right then it will be able to depict but in just a neutral color like this in a neutral color it has no effect whatsoever but if we are working with a picture then it will surely have effect for example let me bring in a picture that can help us out with that all right guys so let's take this picture for example all right let me delete this now on this picture I want to duplicate it right. okay I will use to explain better all that I've been saying to you earlier on now let me put it on dark in okay can you see what i've been saying does it have any effect no because it's a neutral color i multiply it to become more darkened and it still suppress the lighter areas can you see and it's even give it more saturation do you understand multiply now can you see that it give it more saturation and it makes the dark area to become more dark and also compress the lighter areas so you can listen to all i've been saying since then you understand me better all right so even if you look at the highs it brings it out the more all right so color bone i've explained that the other time now look at this area here right that is more darker and the lighter area here that's the lightest of this picture all right and let's see what color bond will do to it now do you see so it makes the darker areas become more dark and even the lighter areas it depicts it as the lightest area of the picture all right so it's not saying oh because that area is too light let me help you to compress it a little you know color bone will never do that for you all right so now linear bone if you look at it it compresses even some of the lighter areas much more than that uh um color bone all right so you can listen to my explanations that i've done on that before and then lightning do you see it's uh, it, the difference can only be little depending on what you're working on but actually it doesn't recognize any virtual i mean uh similar colors any contemporary colors if you put white and you see uh 
create a new layer and put it on white and put it on lightning oh god now it's not gonna work like that is that okay so it works with different uh colors just like i was saying before your mod uh your your credits with your debit those are what it works for your uh, addition sign and your uh, subtraction sign uh, multiply together that's what it works for it does not work for positive and positive and uh, uh, negative with negative no it doesn't work that way all right so uh, we have screen now it becomes more lighter even the darkest areas become more light do you see it gives more light can you see can you see that good so uh, color dodge now even the anywhere that is more lighter will become the lightest of the picture i don't know any other english language to use and those areas that are dark all right it will give it saturation and at the same time make it lighter do you understand that do you see can you see that so it only gives you the darkest area that is what it showcases for you and some of the lighter areas do you understand that all right so linear dodge but i think i've explained that the other time it also do the same work but actually it's different their saturation is different their ear is different um uh, the way they they, they they compress the darker part are different and even the lighter parts do you understand that so now glow hmm. for example i use glow mostly on the chain now for example if you want to use glow on anything don't just consider using glow glow makes something glow uh -huh. i think there's no other words for that glow makes something glow but now people got confused when it comes to glow and soft glow all right now your glow it doesn't really affect your dark part nevertheless it does but not really not not a soft uh glow for example let me put it on soft glow now check this picture all right and then let me put some glow can you see the difference okay just let me duplicate and put it on both both on soft glow and glow so that you can see the difference now this is glow can you see it good and this is soft glow can you see the difference can you see the difference good so that's the difference between glow and soft glow glow does not really help you with the darker shades it's only lighting it up it only make it more shining but soft glow it affects both the darker part and the lighter part nevertheless you can reduce the opacity all right to have perfect uh uh taste of yours likewise for glow you can also reduce it all right to have what you're trying to achieve all right so that's that about glow and soft glow and then overlay is just like placing two layers on themselves with the same colors for example if you are putting black and white on if you are putting white on white it can have effect and black on black it can have effect if you're putting black and white on themselves it won't really have effect but if you are putting something like yellow blue pink any other colors that are different from the actual color then it can have effect for your neutral color but on pictures like this it also blends them together just as multiply work but there's difference now let me put duplicate and um, put uh this on multiply now overlay. like i said when i was explaining to you what multiply means i said it affects both the lighter part and the darker part it compresses your lighter areas more and then even your darker areas it makes it more obvious but your overlay it affects both dark and lighter areas likewise but it enhances more of your lighter areas all right i give it more contrast now this is multiply can you see it compresses even more light and even gives the darker part more power all right more opacity but this doesn't do that same work all right so uh, coming to soft light, I think I've explained that before. It gives light to the lighter areas and saturation and also dark, darkness to the darker part. All right, so add light. Um, well, add light also is very close to soft light, but be careful. If you put it on the same colors, it has no effect. And uh, it all depends. It all depends. So if you're trying to blend something together, add light is not is not the best option for you. It's not the best option for you. Alright, so this you has to do with color.
all right for example now if i put under color on this <clears throat> picture now look at it closely can you see the forehead is if okay let me just choose a more uh, uh color that can show well i always see this just like thanos or i call it all you know green color now that is you it's not color mind you it is you it's not color mind you it is you now i will tell you the difference now check the real color and this is you now i'll duplicate this all right now i'll put some color now color showcases the true color you choose now this is the color i choose there i choose my ac acacia all right so that's the color i choose it seems to be like yellow but it's not actually yellow so this is actually the real color all right and this is you it's already turning into green all right so if you can change your color to anything it's it's uh the, the opposite is just like you mixing chemicals together by the end of it all it's going to showcase a color if you mix different colors together it's going to show another color for you that is the work he does for you so uh a combination of colors it will give you the actual uh result of the color is that okay so it can help you in some in some chemicals and mixing mixing um colors together all right so you just duplicate the layers and begin to put it on you and you then it's going to show you can begin to put all on 50 percent then it's going to give you the actual uh outcome of the color all right so can you see the difference between color and you now good so okay let me just delete this also and then i create a new layer and then i put these on uh saturation saturation only gives it more color all right nothing more nothing less for example uh, let me color pick all right then i put it on saturation and let's see saturation i think is something everybody should understand it only gives it more color all right it's different from color actually but it only enhances the color more all right so that's work of saturation now i'll duplicate this also and then i think we have color i've explained that i, I use this mostly on backgrounds for example if you have okay let me use luminosity on this and you see the effect it has on the background so this luminosity the picture you uh, the, the layer you put on luminosity will uh will be blended to the color below for example let me hide this and put this on luminosity guys okay, it's showing the color on the background now it does not have effect on white color like you can see on the background of this picture it only has effect on any other color different from white all right it still depends on the kind of background you're using now if i should put it on another color now all right so it's having black and white so it doesn't it does not work uh, to be really uh it doesn't really work with saturation like that because if it's doing that then the colors here should be different likewise for example now uh let's see if it's on black all right let me fill that with black all right so it's on luminosity yes it's still showing black and white do you understand that and if i put it on white likewise it's still gonna show white and black only you choose any other color different from white and black before it begins to showcase it so it does not really work for black and white it only has the senses of black or white or depending on the kind of color on your background i think i've been able to explain and cover up for you guys on what it all means on all this color blending so i hope you stop making mistakes while blending your colors on autodesk sketchbook application uh it's very important that you know it because anything you know is something you know how to use all right so stop using just only color soft light and multiply on all your words explore all others and i tell you they're very very meaningful and um uh they, they are very wonderful all right so begin to use any other blend modes also and begin to show it and people will begin to know oh this person actually has the knowledge of what they're doing because if you look at many artworks today you begin to see just color multiply soft light soft glow that's 
what people use they they tend to give attention to all this lightning color bond linear bond color dodge and all of that so guys i hope that from today watching these tutorial videos has really helped you so consider subscribing to the youtube channel share the link invite people to this youtube channel and i will really really appreciate that i may not know you but actually i appreciate your effort thank you for doing that so please before you leave click on the like button thank you and god bless you